Hello, it's How To Not To. As you've guessed, I will be doing the mix load and I'm going to say that all over again in a slightly faster speed. Hello, it's How To Not To and in this video I have a couple of mixed clothes items and um, as you guessed, I'm going to do those on the mix load cycle. Was that quick enough for you? So on the mix load cycle, we've got more options, more uh, flexibility with the temperature. I think it goes to a maximum of 60 degrees and the RPM is maximum of 1,000, what moment? 400. So um, yeah, you, I mean, you've got the different rinse options as well. This, this machine, particular machine, Samsung machine, goes up to five. You can do five rinses on it, so plenty of options there. Um, with certain cycles, obviously the options are limited, um, like the fast, the quick wash, that is. Um, but with the mix load, I'm sure you've got um, other options to choose from, which I might click on in this video. Okay, let me just put the clothes in the drum and we'll begin. I'm going to put this um, detergent, aerial detergent, which is also suitable for cold washes as well. And this one I've got here is for colours. Um, yeah, so this is going to go directly in the drum with the clothes to give it that extra boost. And I'm going to add the detergent. This is powdered detergent directly, not directly with the clothes, but I'm going to put this in the dispenser drawer. Mm, fast dissolving. That's good to know. You don't need that much detergent. Um, people think you, you need to fill it up to the top, but no. I'm just going to put this amount. Um, well, it all depends on the. Um, <coughs> The, the load, you know, the more load you've got, obviously the more uh, detergent you need. So let me take you to the detergent drawers. I have had a few comments, um, people wanting to know what the different sections, different departments uh, are. Oh, this is nice and clean today for a change. So um, yeah, I will be explaining that in another video, what the functionality of the drawers are, different sections, etc. So yeah, look out for that video. So I'm going to pop this in this compartment. This is where the powder detergent is poured into. Yeah, liquids go in there, the conditioner, um, which I think I've run out of. <laughs> Not to worry. Is that door? Switch it on. Let the music play. Okay, so I'm going to set it to the mix load, and as I, as I said, um, I think this has got more options to um, choose from. So uh, this is the mix load temperature, the highest temperature is 60 degrees, and we're going to do like, hmm, do we need to? Do we really need to do that many rinses? I'm going to do about two rinses to leave it to the average, what I usually do. And I'm going to leave it at 1,400. Um, so let's see what else we can do here. I know that there's an iron uh, option, but I forgot which one it is. It, what does that say? I can't see the picture. So I'm just going to get my glasses. It's like the blind leading the blind. <laughs> so let's have another look. So that is, um, has an, a picture of an iron next to it. So I guess that uh, redu reduces the iron, um, reduces creases in your clothes. Shall I press it? Will it? Oh, it does. Ooh. And that reduces the time and reduces the, t the spin speed. Hmm means the clothes are going to be soaking wet I think. Well you don't know until you try it so I'm going to I've pressed the iron 
option to reduce creases in my clothes. This option here would be very good for shirts or cottons, etc. But um, yeah, that's a good option to have on your washing machine. Right, let's press play. 53 minutes.
Okay, that's it for this video. I'm just going to take the clothes out of the drum and see how well the iron cycle option performed. I don't have any cotton shirts as such, but I do have a pair of cotton pajamas. Say so they're pretty creased, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, well, I can tell you that some of the clothes came out semi-dry, um, but others came out um, wetter than when I do it on the 1400 spin speed. So you get a um, variation going on there. Um, like for in instance, these came out pretty, well, these came out semi-dry, the cotton PJ pyjamas, which is a lighter material. However, these blue trousers are much more wetter. <clears throat> I'm not sure I'm on the fence about the iron option. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.